I have updated the income stream surfer SEO content writer for non e-commerce. Uh, I've made a few improvements to it and I wanted to talk about it in this video. Now I tried to use tiny home hub for this video, but unfortunately it's not indexed on Bing, so it actually can't do it. So unfortunately I'm going to have to resort as usual to using two men. So we'll start this off by giving it the website two men dot it. Um, it needs to be indexed on Bing for Bing to be able to then do research on it. So the first change that I made to the script was I removed um, code interpreter because it was getting confused. Sorry to the custom GPT. Uh, it was getting confused like all the time and it was trying to use code interpreter. And at the end of the day, it just wasn't worth it. It was just slowing things down, making it impossible to use. So the first thing it does is it researches your website. The second thing is it should ask for a keyword. If it doesn't ask for a keyword, you can just give it the keyword. So in order to demonstrate the other thing that I've done to the GPT, I need to think of a trending keyword. So I'm just going to do something like suit trends 2024, but you could do this with service pages for like a software company. You can do this for millions of different things. Okay. Just think about, just follow what I'm doing, but instead of putting suit trends 2024, put like mobile app developer trends 2024. And you will see that the results are actually really, really, really on point and on topic. So I'll do Suit Trends 2024. I know less about Suit Trends than I do about technology trends. So I won't be able to analyze this as well as uh, I did for the client that I was writing for. Uh, but I don't have permission to talk about that client. So unfortunately, I can't. But it, this was working perfectly to do a blog post about something that, you know, in 2024 is changing rapidly. So you can see the first thing it does is it actually searches for suit trends 2024 and then it does a quick search and then it says here's what i discovered but for some reason recently it hasn't actually been giving what it's discovered which is kind of annoying um and then it asks for some internal links i recommend not going too overboard here um i'm just going to give it a load but you don't have to give it this many i wouldn't even give it this many in fact i'm not going to give it this many i'm going to cut them down to size so Sorry, to explain what I just did, I went to my sitemap, uh, so my website, slash sitemap.xml, and then I opened the collections sitemap, and then I used a plugin, a Chrome extension called sitemap to clipboard, so you can just write that on Google, it's the first one, and then I pressed the little HTTPS thing and press start, that captures all of my internal links that I want to use, because I like using collections as my internal links. And then I'm just going to delete a load because I've noticed if you give too much information to chat GPT in the front end, it just, it cannot digest that amount of information. So we'll just give it some collections. You can think of these as your category pages, your pillar pages. You could internally link to your blog posts. It doesn't matter what you internally link to. You internally link to the thing that you're trying to push on Google. Final question, how many generations should I generate the article? We're going to say three, which should give us about 1,000... 200 to 1500 words and then we'll see what the content comes out with so already i do like a lot of these like looser fitting suits this is actually something that is trending right now um i was reading about this trend recently i think it was justin bieber uh was wearing some real loose suits like look how long this suit is for him so this is something that's really trending right now i personally don't like this style at all but um yeah that's what that that's what's trending right now. That's trendy. So um it's funny, I was just reading about this. Soft and stretchy fabrics, that's pretty normal. Bold and bold colours and patterns, that's pretty normal. Sporty tailoring, definitely increasing in popularity. Oversized tailoring, like we just looked. Um, this is probably more oversized than looser fitting. And then denim shirt pairings, not sure about that. So we can see that we have uh, there's no title, but you could just say, give me a title afterwards. We have a pretty good article with a table and then, you know, just the normal kind of content. We have some internal links and yeah, it, it's, it's fine. The content's, the content's good. It's good output and it's including a lot of internal links, which is really, really good as well. So then we'll say continue here. So it's decided to make another table. It's fine by me. I don't really mind more table, more the merrier, honestly, with tables. So we'll open up Markdown to HTML, Control A once you've clicked inside this box, and then Control V to paste. One thing that I've noticed recently on ChatGPT is you actually have to click on the line before this first vertical line, 
and press enter once in order to get the table to populate. I don't know what's going on with that. There's a couple of things with ChatGPT recently. It's been doing the same mistakes over and over and over. Like it does this constantly. And then another thing it does is the, the photos aren't right when I'm using my e-commerce um, creator. It might be something to do with the assistance API. Uh, I don't really know. But yeah, it's interesting. So you can see the internal links here. There's no, well, there might be a couple of uh, duplicate ones, but there shouldn't be any duplicate ones. This is something else ChatGPT has been doing recently as well. It's like randomly going to the next line. I don't really know why it's doing that. It's kind of annoying. And then we'll say continue here. Yeah, it, it keeps jumping. So it has like a word and then it like bugs out and then it jumps down. I don't know what is going on with ChatGPT recently. Versatile overcoats, luxury fabrics, definitely. Um, but I mean, that's kind of always been popular. High tech fabrics, that is true. Turtlenecks with suits, this is uh, a trend for sure. I've been seeing this trend a lot recently. It would like, um, you know, like finance influencers on Instagram and things like that. Like you see them wearing turtlenecks with suits. Uh, but yeah, the content is pretty long, as you can see, which is the main thing. If you're curious, by the way, this custom GPT has um, it has over like thirteen thousand use uses, not users, uses. So if you've been keeping your eye on the ChatGPT store, you may have seen that this GPT that I'm showing you right now, uh, which you'll, you can find a link to in the in the description, is actually sixth in the writing category, which is really really cool. But if you want a little tip you can see how many uh, chats have been had with a GPT by just typing in the GPT's name here. So this is how I'm keeping an eye on my competition. Um, I can see that this has 1,000 chats, but this means it, it kind of has a weird thing where it goes from 0 to 1,000, and then 1,000 to 5,000, it'll always say more than 1,000. Until you hit 5,000, then it'll say more than 5,000, and then it'll say more than 10,000, then I think the next one is 25,000. So yeah, if you're wondering how many chats a a custom GPT has actually had, then you can like copy and paste the name here, and you can see that shows me Julian's has got ten thousand, and then this one here that I'm showing you in this video also has ten thousand. So this is a good way to keep your eye on the store if you're curious. So Julian is probably catching me up slowly, and then at the end of this article it says, "Do you want me to visualize data from this article?" If you've got a boring long article, I would say yes, visualize some interesting data in an interesting way for me and what that will give you is a slight competitive edge over other people who are just generating content like this or who are just using chat gpt to generate content you can kind of carve out a niche by offering a little bit higher quality with like a visualization or something so recently i've been having to make more and more edits with chat gpt content just because of uh like i said before just weird things like this as well, vintage inspiration here. This whole table is messed up. So again, I had to enter between these two lines here, I just hit enter. And then pretty much ready to go now. I just realized that code interpreter has been turned off, so it actually can't. It can't use code interpreter, but that's fine. You can also just take this article here and just ask another ChatGPT window to give you like an interesting uh, table or visualization of data or tell it to make up data. No one really cares or Google doesn't really care. I should say so overall, let's see how long the content is. It's under five minutes to generate this content. It's fully SEO fully keyword researched and it is one. It's almost 2000 words. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. You can find the custom GPT in the description as usual, and I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.